Am 24. Februar 2022 begann ein russischer Angriffskrieg auf die Ukraine, die sich durch die Konflikte in der Donbass-Region seit 2014 längst im Kriegszustand befand. Die Länder Europas mussten angesichts der Entscheidungen Russlands Bündigkeit beweisen und tun dies seither. Eine Flüchtlingswelle von mehr als einer Million Menschen erreichte Deutschland. Unter den Geflüchteten zahlreiche Künstlerinnen und Künstler, die ohne ihre Werke, ohne Möglichkeit für die künstlerische Arbeit, ohne deutsche Sprachkenntnisse neu ansetzen müssen. Zwölf ukrainischen Künstlerinnen und Künstlern ermöglichte das Bayerische Staatsministerium für Wissenschaft und Kunst über das internationale Künstlerhaus in Bamberg Stipendien. Nach dem Ende dieser fünf Monate langen Unterstützung sehen sie kleine Einblicke in das Leben besonderer Persönlichkeiten, die, wie wir alle, auf ein Ende des Krieges und den Sieg der Ukraine hoffen. You cannot understand what to do. Who are you? <laughs> what you did all your life? You just play in the theater and you do some movies. But how now help uh, people who are in Ukraine and fight against your enemy? What you can do? I thought, yeah, I must go to army because I cannot just see it and yeah, it, it's crazy. And you, you cannot understand what's happened with your body, with your mind, with your feeling. You just, in one moment, I just understood, okay, stop. I just must concentrate on my child uh, to help her in feeling and just, yeah, to, because, yeah, she needs me too. It's been the 5th of March as I left Kyiv. I will be honest, I didn't believe a few days, even a few days before the escalation that that was happening. All my family is there. So my, my mom, uh, she's visiting Vienna, but she's basically in, uh, in Krivorok. Yulia come to Germany before the tanks uh, Uh, come to the city and it's why that's not possible we are not in the 20th century what tanks what are you telling me no it was not understandable you have not space in your mind to believe in all the atrocity that happened i mean there was several types of people before the war started some of people were panicking some were preparing Some were denying, and I would say I was in between the last two. I mean, I had a life, and uh, it wasn't quite nice. Uh, I was living in Kyiv uh, for the last three years. Um, um, I found a beautiful apartment. I lived with a roommate. And um, I was helping to create a theater, a theater of playwrights in Kyiv. I think war was affecting my art since 2014. I basically became a, a playwright in 2014. When we say the war, it begins uh, also a six, six or eight years before. Yeah. Uh, this war is in a hot period of escalation. All the historical experience for Ukrainians is all about the threat, it's all about the awareness. In Ukrainian language, in Ukrainian lang uh, literature, in culture, in, in lyrics, in songs, it's full of remindings. I used to work uh, for more than 15 years in cultural management in another city in Ukraine, in Dnipro, and that's been successful years for me, or like fruitful. Я пробовала когда-то перевести их на украинский, но 
Это казалось невозможным, потому что я пишу довольно-таки довольно миним, минималистические тексты. И сначала я пишу много, потом очень сокращаю, и поэтому а перевести их, ну, по крайней мере, мне невозможно. Этот текст а, выиграл приз в Германии. А, премия называется «Авторы для Европы». beginning of my working principles, uh, they're pretty close to Baroque era. I don't think this, mu this music to be high culture by no means. Uh, yeah, but I think this music to be genuine. What I do in my music, there's some sort of biologicalness. When you are an artist, it's like way of your life. You see something that is a miracle, but also that is unshareable. That is not something that you can go then to someone else and tell that you saw it, but still it doesn't devalue your experience of your perception of that thing. Because it has happened at least to you, and if you trust yourself at least to a tiniest degree, it still happened and you witnessed that thing. I always more in theater acting. I think that it's the way more of actors of Ukraine because we have more theater. For me, it's the most beautiful professional what could be in my life. Now we are in Munich. Hopefully, my daughter came to the school. We found one school. And uh, also I will have two projects in Munich, but we want back home. I'm super thankful that I can stay here to be safe, to, to feel that my daughter is safe. Super nice, but I want to live in my uh, country with my people, with my friends, with my family. When my project will uh, finished, uh, we will go home. But now the situation is bad in Kyiv. That's all my reality, yeah. Even if I came to uh, to Vienna, it doesn't mean I am not in Ukraine. So I would say, yeah, physically I am here, but with my whole mind and, and emotions I am in Ukraine. This ceramic vase that is a present of my partner for me, and it's, uh, it means for me really a lot. Uh, I was not sure if this vase would survive this uh, this trip, but it uh, it does. So it is now my rule to ha always have uh, fresh flowers in this uh, in this vase uh, as long as I am here. This is home, and uh, living flowers keeps this home also uh, also alive. And as soon as I can go to Kiev back, this vase goes with me. <laughs> And then it's reunion of the real home with this small part of it. <laughs> I mean, you cannot never write about others without writing, writing about yourself, because uh, you, you have to find something that is connecting. often see our history as a tragic one, but maybe we need to um, focus more not on the tragedies, but everything that could have happened or actually happened. Through the, through the words, through the text, we can kind of uh, return it to them. We've seen how many really wise uh, voices and uh, memories uh, are collected um, every day that uh, we decided it it has to be collected some way to be saved we created this um, program that um, describes 
This is about Ukrainians and their strengths and their um, virtues that we uh, protect in this war. Я думаю, что я скорее уверена, чем не уверена, потому что а, скоро выйдет и книга на немецком, и я постоянно работаю и над текстами, и над стихами. А, конечно, сейчас со мной ребенок это утяжеляет процесс, но в основном а, я чувствую себя уверенно, и что у меня есть силы для того, чтобы... А, а, были какие-то новые достижения. Вот. I always think that in any way everything will be okay because if in this way will be bad, I will do something for the better. Yeah, because it's so situation, it's crazy. Sure, we cannot predict this, but I know for sure that Ukrainians uh, will fight. This is a reminder that no criminal institutions uh, must be allowed. Yeah, so we we should stand all together against the criminal social structures that affect our lives. Yeah, that's why democracy is still is still our strongest strongest position.